Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show off my new DS. And it's not just any DS. It's a 2DS. I do have a 3DS already, but I am actually getting rid of this. I'm going to be giving it to my nephew. I wasn't originally going to get a 2DS. I was going to get a light pink 3DS. I wanted to actually get the 2DS XL, but I ended up getting this because it was cheaper and it's still cute. I have a micro SD, but I am deleting a bunch of stuff because I was using it for my PSP. So it has a bunch of PSP ISOs. Hopefully okay to use for the 3DS. Hopefully I don't break anything with it. Let me knock on wood. I will also be following this guide right here. I'll kind of try to do like a step-by-step. -step. Like I said, I don't have a lot of storage on this phone. So uh, I might have to voice over what I did. So yeah. It told me to check my version. It said 11.17 or 11 through 50. Mine's is 11.15. So I connected my 2DS to the internet and updated it. Now it's asking what kind of version of model I have so it can give me the right guide. Now I have to download Python and extract these files into my 3DS folder. Now I have to open this window to make a file on my SD card. So I made a mistake here. I made a 3DS file instead of just putting the SD card into the console. So that's what I did and it made me that 3DS file. Now we're on to the next step. Now it's telling me to go to WeMaker and that will cause it to create extra data. And now it asks you to reset something but don't worry your console is safe. Now we're going to power down our console, take the SD card back to the PC. All we're doing is checking the status and then putting it right back into the console. This one the guide says to be very careful because I did mess up on this and I'll kind of go into detail. The custom firmware wasn't booting up and I was starting to get really nervous. Turns out I selected the wrong uh, model so I just had to change it to the right one and voila it booted up. Um, I'm just gonna skip to the part where I add my games. Actually before I go there I want to talk about an issue that I just had right now. So my file I couldn't go into God mode and I was like why and then I saw that I had that little lock and if a file has that little lock all you have to do is you know, click on it, go to properties, go to advance and then encrypt contents to secure data. You want to like don't, you want to not check that and then apply and then okay and then that file will not have that lock anymore. Here I'm just scrolling for what games I want, and these are the current games that I have downloaded. 